Hey there! In this video, we're going to take a look at the file picker widget and we're going to see some ways in which you can configure it and some options that are valuable to you. For us to get started, I am going to head over to the widget section and I'm going to drag in a file picker widget into the canvas. The first option we have here is to specify the label of the file picker widget and this is the text that shows up in the file picker widget. So for example, um, updating this to say upload files, we can see that um, the text I specified here is shown immediately on the file picker widget over here. The next property we can configure is the maximum number of files that can be selected using the file picker widget. This is because the file picker widget is designed in such a way that it allows for multi-file selection. So you can go down here to specify a maximum limit for the number of files that users can select. And the same also goes with the max file size. This specifies the maximum file size of each file selected in megabytes. For example, we have a max file size set to five megabytes um, for each file selected using the file picker widget. And to show you how this works, I am going to um, upload a file using the file picker widget. I'm going to select a file I know is bigger than five MB. I have this video that is um, 17 MB in size. Uh, selecting it, we can see that we received this error saying that the file is um, greater than the maximum allowed file size of 5 megabytes. And we can also go ahead to configure the allowed file types. So we can specify which file types we want um, to be selectable using the file picker widget. and. Uh, if an option you have in mind is not supported on this list by default, you can go down to the JavaScript mode and supply an array of valid file extensions that you want to be um, supported by the file picker widget. We can also go ahead to specify the data format of the file picker widget. We have the base64 encoding, we also have the binary encoding and the text encoding. We also have the ability to set the required field of the file picker widget to be true. This is designed to be used in conjunction with a form widget. And when this is set to true, it disables form submission until the user actually goes in and selects a file using the file picker widget. We can also likewise set the visibility of the file picker widget by toggling the switch on or off. And uh, we can also set the disabled state of the file picker widget. You can drill down to write JavaScript in any of these cases to conditionally enable these properties whenever you want to. And for the actions, we can trigger an action whenever a file is selected using the file picker widget. So whenever a file is selected in the file picker widget, we can choose to call any of these predefined actions that we have on the list here, or we can go down to JavaScript mode and write any uh, custom logic we want to be executed whenever a file is selected using the file picker widget. Lastly, I'd like to show you how to access the properties of files selected using the file picker widget. So to get started, I am going to select a file. I'm going to be selecting um, an image file and I'll click on the upload file button. And then I can go ahead to access the properties of the file I have selected in the file picker widget. So to show you how that is done, I'm just going to demonstrate this by bringing in a text widget. And for the text property of the text widget, I'm going to be reading it off of the file I have selected using the file picker widget. So I am going to select the name of the file picker widget, which in this case is file picker one. And we have the files um, array. This is an array of all the files selected using the file picker widget. But since in this case we just have one file, so I'll be accessing the first item, which is the only item in the array. And then I can go ahead to um, read properties from the item selected on the file picker widget. So I can read the data property, and here I can see the base 64 data of the image I selected using the file picker widget and heading back to the text widget, I can see it's being displayed here. I can also go ahead to read information about the name 
of the file selected using the file picker widget. And here I can see the original name of the image I selected just now. And I can also go ahead to read the type of the file selected. Here we have an image stroke PNG image selected on the file picker widget. So this is how you can access properties on the file picker widget. And uh, we have just considered the configuration and options of the file picker widget. So this has been the file picker widget and I hope you found this video helpful.